Hello friends! Today I wanted to start a new series reading vlog. If you watched my April TBR, you will not be surprised at all. Trying to grab the books. <laughs> it is the Destiny series by Beverly Jenkins. Um, so, book one is Destiny's Embrace. Book two is Destiny's Surrender, and book three is Destiny's Captive. <clears throat> um, so, today is Thursday, and I did start reading uh, book one a little bit ago. Um, I'm on page 55. Uh, so, I'm really liking this so far. Uh, this is the first historical that I've read set in America and not set in Regency time, so it's a whole new world for me. Uh, <clears throat> so the the heroine is a is seamstress the word? She sews dresses. I think seamstress is the word. Uh, but she works for her mom, and it's not a great situation for her. Uh, so she, like, I think it's her, her aunt found this ad placement for a housekeeper in California. She lives on the East Coast. I think it was in Pennsylvania. Uh, so... Her aunt answered the ad for her and got her this job as a housekeeper. So she is uh, literally on the train to California right now. I think the break in the chapter is, I think when I go back to reading, she will be in California. Um, so <clears throat> I, I don't know if a Beverly Jenkins book is supposed to be funny, but I've laughed a, a couple of times. Um, my favorite part so far was the hero talking to his mom. It's his stepmom, but he's got two half brothers, which I'm assuming are books two and three as heroes. Um, but their mother was talking about wanting grandchildren before she died, and he was basically like, "Well, I'm not gonna have your grand like I'm not gonna give you any grandkids." And the middle brother has, like, a whole bunch of mistresses, so it's probably not going to be him either. And he was like, I should probably write to the youngest brother and let him know of his new duty. And I, I thought that was hilarious. Um, so, she's going to go, or she's on her way to California now. Mariah, and he is Logan. Mariah is on her way to... California now. I'm assuming that they're not going to like each other at first because he didn't really want a housekeeper. It was his mother placing the ad for him. So I have a feeling there's going to be a whole like dislike situation there. But we will see. I I think I'm going to go back to reading now. I've got a whole bunch of YouTube videos saved and I think that's the plan. Hey y'all, it is Friday. Um, I have definitely been reading Destiny's Embrace. I'm on chapter 14, page 226. Uh, how many are there? I don't even know. Page 70. So, what, like 150 pages left? I'm really liking this. Um... So, I think the last time I updated you, she was just getting to California. She's been hired to be the housekeeper. Um, they butt head, butted heads a lot when she first got there. Um, there have been a couple of kisses, and she basically just told him not to do that anymore because she had plan she plans to get married and have children and if she keeps kissing him then that's not gonna happen for her. I hope she sticks with that at least for a little bit. Like I know there's feelings there on both sides. But like she went through the trouble of having to say it, so I hope that she sticks with it. Um 
I'm also liking that there's a little bit of a romance for his moms. Um, they <clears throat> excuse me, they haven't really like. She doesn't like nothing's really happened with that, but they've kind of hinted at it. So I'm excited to see where that goes. Maybe that'll be like throughout the three books. I don't know. We'll see. But I am definitely planning on finishing this today and probably jumping straight into book two. But I will update you when I'm done. I do. I gotta go to the grocery store. I found a meal prep idea that I wanted to try. And I have most of the stuff. But I need some veggies. So. Got to go to the grocery store. Okay, so it is... I think it's like almost five on Friday. And I just finished Destiny's Embrace. And I really, really liked this. Um, so she did kind of... Or like... She didn't really hold out for very long on the no kissing thing, but he did wait for her to ask for a kiss. So we're going to count that as a win. But then it kind of kept throwing me off. Or like, towards the end it threw me off because, uh, I don't remember who it was, I think it was the hero mentioned that it had only been three or four days since they met. And I'm like, okay, time out then. Because at the beginning, he was very adamant that he did not want to get married. And within three or four days, he proposed and she accepted. And I was kind of just like, oh, that's kind of eh. Uh, but, but I really liked it. So I, I think I'm going to give it four stars. So... Uh, the epilogue had <clears throat> a like switch point of view to where did it say that woman was at? In a small boarding house in Chan San Francisco, another baby was born, and hmm, that's that's gonna be the 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 heroine for book two the brother in book two so I think I'm gonna go ahead and go start reading book two I don't think I want to wait so <clears throat> hey guys so it's Sunday night now um I originally planned to update yesterday but I thought, I haven't really read that much in book two yet, so I'll wait until a little bit later. <sighs> and then I got distracted. Uh, but today was a really long day at work, and so I came home and took a shower. Just, my hair's drying still. And I sat down, and I finished book two. I think I had read... <laughs> I think I was almost at a page, at page 100 when I picked it up today, and I just finished it. Uh, so didn't update at all during this one, but I really liked this one. Um, this one is a secret baby romance, so a lot of, I know a lot of people aren't fans of that, but I thought it worked really well in this one. Um, it kind of... <clears throat> kind of goes through the process of her giving birth and realizing that uh, Drew, the hero in this one, is the dad. And she comes to him and she wants to just leave the baby with him for, <clears throat> for protection. But his mom, uh, it's the same mom from book one, uh, won't, won't allow it. She says, no, y'all are getting married. And so they get married. I really liked that uh, the heroine called the hero on his crap. Um, at one point he says something about he doesn't spend time with the baby because he doesn't know anything about babies. 
and she's like, well, the baby doesn't know anything about the dads either, so, like, you can figure it out together, and I loved that, and, <clears throat> and, yeah, overall, I liked this one a lot, too, I'm gonna give this one four stars as well, um, this one, I don't think that it was as quick as the first one. Like, the first one was, like, four days or a week or whatever. I don't think that was the timeline on this one, but I don't know. I couldn't quite figure that out. Um, uh, something that I've noticed, I don't know if it's just a Beverly Jenkins writing style choice or whatever, but it switches POVs really suddenly in, like, there's no, like, break in the page or anything like that. It would just be a switch all of a sudden. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, overall, really liking the series so far. Um, it is probably almost 10 o'clock at night, so it's about time for me to call it bedtime. And I will pick up book three tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is Monday morning. Um, I got ready for work a little bit faster than I normally do so that I could start reading a little bit. Um, I've read two chapters, but the point of this clip... <sighs> so I opened it up and I was flipping through all the stuff at the beginning. And I would like to point out that I, if I remember correctly, I got this at Half Price Books. It's signed. Um, I've had this book for a while. because This is the first one from the series that I bought. And I did not know that it was signed. Uh, but yeah, a pleasant surprise for the start of book three. Um, I'm only a little bit in. Chapter three, page 24. Uh, but yeah. She's about to, the hero is about to steal the hero's ship. Um, I'm a little confused as to why she had to kidnap him, get him on the ship to steal it. But maybe that will be explained at some point. So, now I gotta go to work and I'll continue reading tonight. So I finished book three, Destiny's Captive. And this one wasn't really what I thought it was going to be. Um, I thought it was going to be, it says on the back that, uh, she steals his ship from him, and he vows that he will catch up with her, and I thought it was all gonna kind of be that, like him, uh, him, like, chasing after her, and then, like, fighting or arguing or whatever, and then, like, slowly it progresses into an enemies to lovers, like, relationship thing. But it actually, he actually found her pretty quickly. And, um, I think agrees that he won't turn her in if she will marry him because he's very drawn to her. So they get married and go back to California to spend time with, his, like, to live with his family. And... I was kind of unsure where the conflict was going to be, um, without spoiling too much, what I thought was going to be the conflict was kind of a secondary thing, there was a different, <clears throat> um, I thought it was going to be something from his past that he had a, some PTSD, um, I thought it was going to be that, like, him tearing them apart, but there was actually something else before that that was like an outside thing. Um, <clears throat> so I did like that it wasn't like super predictable. Like I did predict it a little bit, but not a lot. Um, I am also going to give this one four stars. That is going to conclude my first Beverly Jenkins series, my first American historical romance series, and I highly enjoyed them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!